My first memory of this great little guy in the big old box here was when Gerard's cheeky little face poked around my door at JLB. <laughs> he was sniffing around for a raise that, given what I don't think anyone would mind me saying were his very limited attributes, was bloody outrageous. <clears throat> Look, nothing can make today all right. But maybe we can take some comfort from the brutal reality that the weak must make way for the strong. Evolution marches on. The scythe is remorseless. I hope the scythe's remorseless swing can bring some comfort to you all. Oh, let's have a look at this drum kit. Oh, what camera is this filmed on? Bloody high definition. This is some fucking HD ready shit. Oh, sexy. I want to know what camera that is. But you can tell this is Nolly because he's got his, uh, what are they called? Joe, Joe, Joseph, Josephman, Joseph, Josephan. Whatever those, the little, the little microphones that look shit, but they're actually really good. Um, believe that's a walnut birch. In uh, Red Oyster, I know actually it's a walnut birch because Nolly told me he uh, recorded this and he liked the way they sounded, so they sound like DW Maple. Very nice sounding uh, ride there. The sides were more so snowy. Such a gnarly mix. Oh, Abe Cunningham snare. Groovy. Groovy, baby. Nolly just mixes a snare drum better than anyone else in the world. This mix is great. Really quite want one of those snare drums. Don't mean they make them anymore. Look at that. Feather in the bass drum. Oh, he's a jazz carcass. up all the time in my live streams why do you sometimes feather the kick drum and sometimes you bury the beater learn both because sometimes it helps with your balance my man here does it natty confirm natty i heard it in the kicks i can't get over a nolly snare drum it's almost like he only puts a touch of snare bottom in there, but it's weird. It's definitely there, but there's like a big hollow. You talked to him over the fucking song. Watch the fucking real video, you idiot. Someone in the Twitch chat, literally as I said it, said the fact he gets that snare to sound so open. Yet so damn tight. That's what I'm trying to figure out how he does it. I don't really know. But he does mix my drum string. I could just look in there, but I won't. The only Mega Bell that sounds good is the Sabian. Dan. A bunch of people in the chat saying it's parallel compression. Can confirm it's not parallel compression. Um, Dan Wilding. A little story about Dan. You don't watch this for the drums. You watch this for me talking. And some of you watch it for the drums. And then you get annoyed and you don't come back. 
That's fine. I'm aware of my demographic. Dan Wilding, I went on tour with him in 2009, Trigger the Bloodshed by Atrophy. And uh, it was when I was pretty f- pro 420 before I fucking ruined my brain with all of the chemicals. Um, but Dan used to hide from me because I used to make him, force him to smoke with me. And there'd be times where he'd be hiding on the bus. And I had to go and root him out and then peer pressure him into smoking weed. Now I can't monetize this video. But that was a true thing. And now I don't smoke weed. Wonder if he does. Oh, I like that push. That stack and splash combo. Here's one for you. All these symbols sound great, by the way. Um, Not a single new Sabrina the Teenage Symbol logo. I wonder if he's done that on purpose. Deliberately doesn't want to play the Sabrina symbols. Because this was filmed pretty recently. Some of those symbols look new. What's the story? A lot of people in the Twitch chat, twitch.tv slash Reynold, talking about that the, the bell on that fucking ride. Really quite want that snare. Effortless kick drum technique always has had. There's some videos. In fact, there's an episode of the downbeat that I did with Dan where he talks about... Sorry, I'm still trying to listen. Where he talks about um, when he auditioned for Black Darling Murder. And there's some videos of him auditioning for Black Darling Murder and he's really, really good. They got him really high as well, actually. Seems to be a... Seems to be more of a him problem than a us problem. Someone in the chat. Oh, I'm enjoying his feels. Love the way. He's got such an old school player vibe. But also he shreds the new school. Nice. Oh, yeah, they got the album with the fruit, vegetable, whatever. Someone in the chat, twitch.tv slash Renault, come and fucking join us. Someone in the chat says, do you not think there's any sample layering on there? No. My drum streams are a nolly mix. They sound almost exactly like that. If I could be bothered to tune them and have better toms, uh, tom mics, it would sound like that. Uh, I feel like sample replacement culture has made people not believe, including myself, actually, until I saw some of Nolly's mixes in the flesh, made people believe you can't get unnatural-sounding greatness from, like, a great room and great mics and great mixing, but I've seen it, and you can. 